Krishna never lives to Vrindavan. How we can reconcile? How we can reconcile? Now you will have to reconcile it anyhow. When Nanda was weeping, Krishna became and Baldev became of two, two kinds, in two forms. One Prakat Leela and one Aprakat Leela. Eh? Prakat Leela, Krishna and Baldev were in Mathura. Eh? But Aprakat Leela, they came with Nanda Baba. Where? In Vrindavan. The son of Yasoda and Nanda Baba, Krishna, Bhajanda Nandan, he returned with We know that Krishna never comes to Mathura, that Bhajanda Nandan. His one form, one manifestation comes, like Vasudeva Krishna. So, in, court, in his bullock court, Nanda Baba, eh, he took Krishna and Baldev with him. But that scene was not seen by anyone. And he can return to Vrindavan, to Nanda Baba. And in one bullock court, one Nanda Baba, manifestation of that Nanda Baba, was feeling so much of separation and waiting, 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 waiting. He returned to Mathura without his... Like this. Thakurais. Reconciled all these things. Very, very secret. Only high class of devotees can realize this. Otherwise, all the gopis and gopis will die at once in a moment. Jasodamaya also. So there are two things there, two leelas, pastimes there, aparakat leela and aparakat leela. Then, <coughs> oh, now I am coming to my point that I wanted to tell you. All these six days, what I told, it was like introduction. Introduction. I wanted to give you some nectar, nectar of love of gopis. To whom even Uddha could not taste he came to Krishna and glorified. So after that, what became Krishna went to Gurukul and I have told all of you. And one day he was sitting on the roof of his palace. Jasoda and Devaki and Vasudev all were there. And he Krishna alone went on the roof of his palace. And he looked towards Vrindavan, north side, from Mathura. And he became so sad, and he began to weep bitterly. He saw that from here, Mathura he saw. His mother is weeping so bitterly. She had become blind. Now I have heard that uh, all the homes are dying, so many died. Now all the cops are not taking milk from their hearts of their mother. Now cuckoos are not singing, even peacocks not dancing because no Krishna. So he was looking all these things. And he began, began to cry. Oh, Jasoda Mahiya. Oh, Nanda Baba. And he began. Oh, Gopis. Oh, Radhe. Oh, Krishna. And in the meantime, his bosom friend, 
उद्धव कहते हैं सचिन कृष्ण एंड ही शॉ दैट ओ कृष्ण सिटिंग वेटिंग सो पीटर यर इट हैज बीन टोल बिशरी नंग प्रबरु उद्धव वाज मोस्ट हायर इन रैंक इन होल मथुरा He was so intelligent in all jobs. He was prime minister of Krishna. Daitaha, so much near and dear. Near and dear. Shakha, friend, Shishya, disciple, and Brihaspati, Sakshat Shishya. And he is told to be like. Brihaspati, but more than Brihaspati. Brihaspati, the priest of demigods, and he came and saw Krishna with him. Krishna hold, he took his hands in his hands. Uddhav wanted to pacify him, but Uddhav has no words to pacify. Why Krishna is with him? For whom he is with him? Because at that time he has not known the glories of gopis, so he cannot realize what was dirhanal separation for in Krishna, and Krishna is burning, and anyone not qualified to save him, so he is burning, 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 burning. Uddhav came and told, "Five friend, you are with me." And then Krishna took his hands in his hands and began to tell, "Udha, gacho udha, brajam samya, pitre no pratimavaha, gopi nang mayu mayu gabdi, mas samday sarvino cha." Udha, you are my friend. You are my prime minister. You are all in all. I know that you are more uh, dear to my brother Dev Prabhu. To Lakshmi, to others, more dear. more dear. Oh, you are my heart. I am your heart, and I don't know anyone. So I am telling this secret thing to you only. Hmm? You should go to Braj, Vrindavan, Nanda, Gokul. Hmm? Oh, Samya, Samya means what is means? Like soft, but soft and pleasing like the moon. Hmm. From the pitri, no. He telling himself, pitri, no. Our father, Krishna may tell his father, but why he telling that our father? He thinks that Uddha is my brother, and who is father? Pitro, your mother and father both. Arjuna Soda and Nand, he is in Mathura, in the palace of Vasudeva Devi. They are there, but he is telling to that my father and my mother, Jasoda and Nand, are very unhappy, feeling separation, like fire. You must go there. Pretty Mahabha, you should pass it. No, if Krishna is. Son of Vasudev and Dev. Why he is telling? Now Uddha now heard that oh, really I know that Krishna is son of Vasudev and Dev. But why Krishna is telling like so? Hmm? Oh, it will be that partly he will be the son of Vasudev and Dev. You know how? Partly, but fully he is son of Vasudev and. Nanda and Devaki, you should know. Swami Ji has sometimes, in beginning he has written like this that he was a uh, adopted son of Devaki and Nanda. But after that he has admitted all these things. And not admitted, he knew this fact and gradually and gradually, like Sukadev Goswami has told, he follows Sukadev Goswami. So really. All Brajvasi know that Krishna is son of Nanda and Jashoda, not of 
Now he is he become some what wonder. Hmm? At all, now Krishna is admitting that Krishna is son of Nanda and Jasoda. Jasod pacified them. Why he Krishna told first to mother and father that Uddhav should know. My father and mother are so dear, but more secret thing is that my most dearest are gopis. So that is the reason. Gopi nam mayo mat diyo gabading mat sandai shaiti mocha. Is a gopi. Taking my message to gopis. Gopis are of uh, feeling so much uh, separation, so much. More than Nanda and Yasoda. So you should go and pacify them, not with your logic, not your tattva, not your intelligence. By what? Anyone can pacify, getting by only words. So what I am telling to you? Matsam Desha, my message only, the words of my message. You should tell as it is, I am telling. Not missing anything, not a single word. And you should go to Gopis and tell. Then they may be pacified. Hmm? How the Gopis are? Krishna is admiring, glorifying Gopis hmm? with his own mouth. Ta man manashka. Mat prana madathe tatya daidaka. Here is the glory of Gopis. Krishna himself admitting and telling. Hmm? I think that there is none in whole this world that they can glorify gopis like Krishna. Hmm? Only Krishna can do. And he could not glorify him them so high. That is why he took the beauty and mood of Radhika to know the glories of Gopi. And he made his guru Vishakhadir, Shiksha Guru. And then he knew something. Now, in in the shape of, in the form of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he can glorify more than Krishna even. Only Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. If Chaitanya Mahaprabhu had not descended to this world, anyone has no any idea of glorifying gopis, especially Radha and Krishna also. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And we are so lucky to come in his life, in his line. So much. Hmm? He is telling, Ta manmanaska, all the gopis. Hmm? Manmanaska, what is the, man, the meaning of manmanaska? That engage their whole mind, mind. Observe, they are totally observed in me. Nothing else in day and night, twenty-four hours. They think of me and they had all already observed in me. Hmm? How? That I tell a story? Hmm? What a story? You should tell in brief. You don't remember? Oh, you? Once there was a newly married gopi who came to Nandagao and her mother-in-law was stopping her to come out and take darshan of Krishna. But then she came and when Krishna was coming up, coming back from the forest after grazing cows, then he uh, pinched one of the calves in such a way that he ran towards that gopi who was looking towards Krishna. And Krishna, in order to come and take the calf back, he came and he touched the cheek of the gopi with his flute and quickly ran back. And now this gopi was stunned. She was looking like a statue because her heart was completely taken over by Krishna. So after some time, her mother-in-law came and she saw that the, uh, this gopi was standing and wasn't doing anything. So she shook her and told her, I told you not to see Krishna and you did obey me. Now you see, you cannot do anything. You are completely useless. And then she strongly with anger took her in and gave her some engagement. First, she gave her some pot and yogurt to churn. And then what was happening? Instead of uh, churning the yogurt, she has mustard seeds in the pot and she was trying to churn them. And after a while, when her mother-in-law again came, and then she noticed and she, she again spoke with harsh words and said, 
Now I know you cannot do anything because you have been bitten by the black snake. Okay, I must make some other arrangement to bring you back to normal consciousness. And then she gave one rope on, in her hand and so many pots and also so many pots on head and then gave also one child to go and bring uh, water from the well. And all the bright ladies, they are habitual that they can carry so many pots, one, two, three, four on their head and they can also walk towards the well. So, as this gopi came to well, then she took off all the pots and she kept the child on the wall of the well and she made the rope, the knot, and instead of giving that knot, knot, knot that rope, in, uh, in, on the one of the pots, she gave that in the neck of the child. <laughs> because she's completely absent-minded, she doesn't know, she's not in her external consciousness. And then as she was doing that and about to drop the child in the well, all the other gopis, they shot it and they said, Oh, stop, what are you doing? And then one of them said, Oh, she must have been haunted. And another gopi said, No, she's not been haunted, she's completely taken, care of, uh, taken over by Krishna. That's why she's completely forgotten herself. Because her mind has completely absorbed in Krishna's thought, she's unaware of her any engagement whatsoever. And this is one of the examples of what you are doing. Man manaska mat prana, mat prana, and their what prana means life. And that is why gopis, when Krishna came from Vrindavan and came to Mathura, then they would have been died without Krishna. But they are not dying. Why? Because Krishna was their life, their plan. So they were not dying. And also, Mat Prana, <coughs> all the gopis are <coughs> my life. Not my priya, my life, Krishna, all the gopis are. Madhathe Tatta Deihaka. For me, they have given up all their day and day, everything. Their decoration, their taking, anything, and all jobs that left for me. Mame Vadaitan, I am only their beloved. No one <coughs> other. Prestam, their eh? yeah. dearest. Manasa Gata totally observed in me. Ye Tatta Lok Dharmansha Madakhi Tan Vibhavna. They have given up their all kinds of shyness, dharma, Varnasham Dharma, everything, their husband, everything for me. So I must, what? I must. I should must support and nourish them. <coughs> those who have left everything for me, those who will leave everything for me in any time, I must nourish them and support them. This is his promise. So you should always <coughs> remind this. If you are giving up and it's all things, what do you think? And <coughs> always remembering Krishna, observing Krishna, then you should be not in any doubt that Krishna is surely supporting you. Anyway. So don't be uh, worry for your supporting, nourishing and anything. We are depending on our relatives, but at the time of death they cannot support, they cannot save us, but Krishna can save us. So he is telling that I must support and nourish. Oh, that is why you must go there. Maita prayasam paishthe durasthe gokulastriya smaranto angdemo yanti viraha kantha vipala. And here, and there, having so separation. They cannot do any job, nothing, even taking any remnant of prasad or anything. Always, they are waiting. For what? Oh, Krishna has told and promised that I am coming day after tomorrow. So all our money is waiting for that. Hmm? They are thinking that, oh, 
day after tomorrow, day after tomorrow. Krishna had told, so when day after tomorrow come? When? That thing can that. Oh, Krishna has told, so day after tomorrow, 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 tomorrow. And they are waiting. All the gopis are not, not entering in Braja, their houses. Where they are? In forest of Nandavam. Kadambater or Uddhav. Uddhav Pyari or Kadambapyari. Anyone cannot see. Only by the grace of Krishna, mercy of Krishna or Yoga Maya. Only Uddhav Shanti. Dharyanti Ati Krishna in Praya, Prana in Kapanjana. Patyagaman Sandeshi Palakyumi in Mata. Only they are <coughs> keeping their light that Krishna has promised that he will can come. And they know that Krishna must come. But when coming? Tomorrow. That is why they are. That when Krishna will come and we will die, <coughs> then they, he will not see us and then we will also die. So only to please Krishna, that Krishna should not be unhappy. They are anyhow keeping their lives. So you should go there. Then he gave his Vajanti Mala. He gave his golden crown. He gave him garments, saffron cloths, and also the chariot of Kansa, golden. And he was going in the way with Uddha, telling all these things, how gopis are, how Nanda Baba is, and all other things. Hmm? But Uddha saw that it would be very late. So himself he, he went on the chariot and sat there. And he kept the horses and they began. Krishna was still there, ascending. He was looking towards the Rath, and after that, when Rath was out of his sight, then he was looking towards the dust, and when dust was also subsided, only he was thinking of gopis and gopis. Then anyone come, and he took away to Krishna. Gaur, Praman, then we will begin on tomorrow. First, how Uddha went there, and what dialogue was there, and what he saw there. Oh, only you will hear. And try to remember all these things. These are all the glories of Gopi, especially the glory of Gopi. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came only to give all these things. And that is why he gave it to Rupa Goswami, and he gave to Jiva Goswami and Sanatana Goswami Mahaprabhu gave and thus Vishwanacha Bhakti Thakuru and then they expressed in the explanation of Srivat Mahaprabhu. You should try to remember all these things. This is all Bhajat. Gaur Pramana. This Bhajat is also Maharaj only in this Prakat Lila, not in the Prakat Lila. Okay. <laughs> Yes, well, it's
disinterested in everything pertaining to family affairs. His negligence leads me to fear the worst. I know what is on his mind. After all, he is my only son. Haranya, in your opinion, what should I do? Let us both speak with him. Together, we can make him realize that he can understand and fulfill his religious aspirations by staying at home and fulfilling his worldly obligations. Good idea. Let's go. He's asleep. Perhaps we can speak with him tomorrow. No, we should deal with this at once. <laughs> oh, Raghunath, Raghunath, your uncle and I would like to discuss something of utmost importance. Raghunath? Is it proper to neglect the request of your father? Raghunath! Raghunath! Answer me! Answer me! Raghunath! Oh, he's gone! He's gone! My worst fear has come true! Don't be in anxiety. I'm sure he has set out to see Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Guards! 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 Raghunath Das has set out the Jagannath Puri. Take horses and ten men. Catch him and bring him back here immediately. Yes, sir. Go, go, go. Please bring go, back go. my Raghunath. Please. Follow the main roads. Two days have passed and no news, no news. He is such a tender boy. Anything could have happened to him. What's that noise? Ah, the guards are coming back. My son! Oh, Raghunath, my son! My son! You've returned! This is like a thunderbolt to my heart. Raghunath does. Is this the behavior of a righteous man? Is it the business of a righteous man to give such pain to his father? Raghunath, you can worship Krishna. You can chant his holy name. You can do all of these things, but in the bosom of your own home. Why do you insist on this activity of a mendicant at such an early age? Oh, Raghunath, 
what your uncle says is true. He's very, very wise and experienced. Please listen to him, or you will invite calamity upon yourself. Come now, take bath and take some prasad. You look so weak and thin. Why do you behave like this, Raghunath? You used to be such a... Approached his father. Father, yes, my son. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is staying very nearby in the house of Advaita Acharya. So I am begging you, please give me the permission to go and see his divine lotus feet. You want to see him? You want to go? Wait. If you do not give me permission, then my life is sure to leave this body. Oh, my dear son, my dear son. Just wait a minute. Hiranya, what should we do? Let him go. Let him, him go. Let him go. But send him in the company of a number of vigilant servants and make sure that he comes back very soon. Dear Raghana, you have my permission to go see Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So go now and meet with him. Get blessings from him. Offer your respects. But please return home very soon. Very soon. Please. Gods will keep very vigilant surveillance over me day and night, day and night. How will I be able to slip out from their hands? How will I be able to ever go and meet with Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in Nila Chao Puri Daham? I must find out some way to escape. After accepting his service for seven days, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu instructed him appropriately. Sinful. Yet somehow or other, today you have walked into the path of my eyes. <clears throat> Yet even right now, providence is conspiring to lead me away from you. Oh. Why are you crying? <clears throat> there is no need. Be patient. And go back to your home. Be patient and go back to your home. A person may desire to cross over the ocean of material existence, but you do not need to act like a madman. Gradually, if you follow my instructions, you will be able to cross to the far shore. One should not practice the renunciation of a monkey just to show off to the common man. This is not the way. Externally, you should perform the duties of a common man, but internally, you should have nishta, very strong faith in this path of bhajan. In this way, Krishna will become pleased with you, and very soon, he will deliver you from the path of maya. Soon, I will be visiting Vrindavan. I will come back soon to Jagannath Puri. At that time, you should find a way, some trick,
to come and see me there. Krishna will tell you how to do it. Do not worry. If one has Krishna's mercy, a person has all the power and you will be able to overcome all obstacles. Do not be afraid. Be strong. Raghunath Das returned to Saptagram a thoroughly changed person. He managed his father's estate and accepted all the responsibilities of a worldly businessman. Govardhan Majumdar arranged his marriage. I don't know what to do. It has become almost a daily affair. Raghunath Das runs away and we catch him and drag him back. So far, all his attempts to escape have become unsuccessful, yet he remains completely undeterred. Our son has become completely mad. I agree. I don't want to say this, but this, has become, this matter has become so serious. Yes. <laughs> what should we do? Can't we just try to keep him here by binding him with ropes? <laughs> Our son has at his disposal opulences like Indra, the king of heaven. His wife is more beautiful than an angel. And all these allurements cannot attract his mind to stay with us. So what is the use of a lifeless rope? <laughs> Though I am his father, I cannot nullify the reactions of his previous activities. Chaitanya Chandra has bestowed his full mercy upon him and accepted him as his very own. <coughs> I think that it will be impossible to detain him for very long. Who can confine such a madman? once he has bestowed his heart on the lotus feet of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. The next day, Raghunath Das and a company of many servants went to meet with Nityananda Prabhu, who was performing Sankirtan with his associates in the village of Panihati, dancing and chanting along the banks of the Ganges. Lord Nityananda appeared more effulgent and thousands of rising suns. Today I'm taking a vow, I'm taking a vow that anyone who even once, just once, if you chant the holy name of Krishna, with faith or without faith, I take it upon my head. I take responsibility that I will deliver that person, mark my words. So please, I implore you from the core of your heart, please chant. Hare Krishna! Hare Krishna! Hare Krishna! Hare Krishna! Krishna Krishna! Krishna Krishna! Hare Hare! Hare Rama! Hare Rama! Rama Hare Rama! Rama Hare Hare! Look, here comes Raghunath Das, and he is offering his obeisances from afar. Oh, Raghunath! You are a thief, Baba. Come here! Come here! I will punish you now. Come here, Raghunath. 
They are my life and soul. They are my property. And you want to attain the lotus feet of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu without coming through me? No. Never. Never, never, never. <laughs> yes. You are a very, very big thief. So, today, I must inflict some punishment on you. Yes, I will sentence you. You must have a feast, Mahotsava, for all the Vaishnavas. Bring chip rice, yogurt, and feed all. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, quickly, my servants, let us go. We will bring yogurt and ghee and sugar and chip rice. And can't find so many bananas and many things and feed all the Vaishnavas quickly. <laughs> Back in my house, I have cooked food and offered to the deity so that you can take prasadam there. And now, with this festival, it is lying untouched. Oh, Raghava Pandit. Don't worry. We will honor Prasadam now. And tonight, then we will come to your home. Don't worry. I belong to a community of cowherd boys. And we take great delight enjoying on the banks of the river, having picnics, and enjoying feasts. Don't worry, we will come. Oh, but how can I honor this Prasadam without Gora? No. Dayo Sachinandana, 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 the moon. I tried again and again and I failed. I know that no one can get the mercy of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu without your mercy. And therefore, even though I am quite unfit, and even though I am so afraid to submit this plea to you, I request you, sir, please fulfill my desire. Oh, Raghunath, because you have had this feast on the bank of the Ganges, you should know that Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he has come only for you. Just for you he has come. Yes. So, now, your path, it is completely clear. 
All obstacles? No more. They're all gone. And Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he will directly take care of you and he'll place you under the care of Sarup Damadam. You will become a very confidential servitor of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. You'll be very famous. Now, I want all the Vaishnavas to give their full blessings to Ragna Das. Ragna Das Prabhu Ki! opportunity to escape, to be arranged by Krishna. From that day on, the young Raghunath Das would not enter the interior of the house. At night he would take rest on the Durga Mandap. Nearby, a group of guards would keep watch to make sure that he did not try to escape. One night, Now, all the devotees of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, they are leaving Bengal and they're going there to Jagannath Puri. On pretext of attending Vatiyatra, they go there just to see Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. If only I could go with them. But alas, they are so famous. If I were to accompany them, I would be caught immediately. Hargo, when will your soft, golden form become the object of my vision? Will it ever be? Jari has left his service. I want you to come with me immediately to his home and help me induce him to return to that service. We can go immediately. That's Very go. good. Oh, Gurudev, actually there's no need for you to go. I can go there. I will induce him to resume his service and I can send him to your home. So you can return now and I will certainly send him there. Very well. Do not delay. <laughs> now is golden opportunity for me. I am out of the house. No guards. No soldiers. Nothing. Quickly I can go there to be with Mahaprabhu. There's not a moment to lose. If I take the main road, they will catch me before sunrise. But if I go through the jungle, they will not be able to find me at all. Oh, Nityananda Prabhu! Oh, Sadhus! Oh, Vaishnavas! Your blessings are infallible. Back at the house of Raghunath Das, the watchman being unable to find him, immediately went to inquire about him from his spiritual master. When Yadunanda Anacharya said that Raghunath Das had already taken his permission and returned home, there arose a tumultuous sound and everyone cried bitterly. Meanwhile, Raghunath Das was going through the jungles from village to village in the direction of Jagannath Puridam. He did not care to eat or sleep, 
for his mind was concentrated upon the lotus feet of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, eating only once every four days, and occasionally taking rest in some barn or cowshed. Raghunath Das made rapid progress. After only twelve days, he arrived, he arrived in Purushottam Chitra, Jagannath Puri Dham. When Raghunath Das met Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, the Lord was sitting with his companions, headed by Swarup Damodar. Mahaprabhu, there is Raghunath. <laughs> mercy of Sri Krishna is stronger than anything and he has saved you from the ditch of material life which is like a hole into which people pass stool. My Lord, I don't know who Krishna is. I only know that you have delivered me from household life. Your father and your uncle are very unfortunate for they consider the material happiness to be the goal of life. They are Vaishnava Praya. You should sense, gratific sense gratificating persons are blind and, will, and are, will always be born again and again in this material world. It is very unfortunate. My dear Swarup Damodar, I entrust to you Raghunath Das. Please accept him as your son and servant. My dear Lord, I accept whatever you order. Now I have three associates named Raghunath. So your name will now be Swarupaya Raghu, the Raghunath of Swarup Damodar. <laughs> Raghunath Das has undergone many, many penances and has fasted for many days. Please, take him into your care until he has recovered. <coughs> Raghunath Das, go and take your bath in the sea. Then, after you have visited Jagannath, come back here and take prasad. So, Dhammadhapa go. I want to ask a question to Mahaprabhu. I have left my household life, but I don't know why. What is actually my duty? My dear Mahaprabhu, Raghunath Das will not speak a word in your presence, yet he has this to say at your lotus feet. I do not know the duty or goal of my life, so kindly speak some instructions from your lotus mouth. Yes. I have appointed Sarup Damodar as your instructor, and he should instruct you, for he knows more than me. But, if you would like to hear some instructions from me personally, then listen with great attention. You should not speak jalpa, prajalpa uh, with common people, or listen to what they have to say. You should not dress extravagantly, or eat too much. You should offer all honor to others and expect nothing in return. Always chant the names of Hari and serve Sri Krishna within your mind and offer all respects to Radha and Krishna in Vrindavan within your mind. This is my instruction in brief. But Sarup Damodar will instruct you in more detail. Being placed in the care of Sarup Damodar, Raghunath Das began to serve him in his sadhaka form. And internally, in Siddhadeha, in his identity as Rati Manjri. Sarup Damodar, 
Previously, Raghunath Das has invited me every month for two years to eat at his house. And now, he has stopped. Why is this? My dear Lord, Raghunath Das has reconsidered his activities and thought within himself. I accept goods from materialistic persons to invite Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu for lunch. But by accepting charity from materialists, my mind has become impure. Raghunath Das thought that Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu accepts invitations from me only because he knows that a foolish person like me would become morose if he refused. But he knows that within your mind, you are not satisfied by such activities. Yes. When one accepts invitations or food from Vishayis, one's mind becomes contaminated and he cannot think about Krishna or perform sadhan about his divine pastimes. I have seen that Raghunath Das no longer goes to beg for his maintenance at the, Shri, at the Shingha Dwara of Sri Mandir. This is very good. Begging at the Simha Dwara is just like being a prostitute. Always thinking, oh, this person gave something yesterday. Perhaps he will give something today. Oh, that person didn't give me anything. Better that he should go to the free prasadam booth. That way, his mind will be free, and he will not talk so much prajalpa, and he will be able to peacefully chant Harinam. He went to Ananda Bazaar, but now he goes to the place where the shopkeepers throw the rotten rice. The Tailangi cows go there to eat. And what they reject and leave behind, Raghunath collects. He takes it home, washes it, and takes it mixed with a little salt. Oh, how wonderful! How wonderful is his renunciation! I am very pleased with Raghunath Das. Let us go and see him immediately. <laughs>